Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a Chibi Freddy Krueger from a Nightmare on Elm Street. So let's get started with the eye. We're going to start with the brow line on the left side. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve in towards the inside of the eye. From here, we're going to turn in the brow line for a little frown, curving up and in. Let's take that, flip it over on the right side. We're going to leave a little gap in the middle here. So we're going to start on the inside, curve to the inside of the right eye. Now let's curve the top of the brow just above the right eye. From here, let's tuck in the eyeballs underneath. Starting on the left, we're going to leave a little gap. So we're going to step in and draw a circle tucked in underneath the brow and just come into that point there. Do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside, curve around, and then tuck that in underneath the brow. We're going to draw a little highlight on the top left side. So imagine the light coming down in this direction. We're going to draw a little circle on the top left. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's go ahead and draw in a pupil right in the center of the eyeball. So right in here, let's draw a little black circle, colored in black. Do the same thing on the right side. Now here I'm going to tuck this in underneath the highlight. Color that in black. From here let's give him some eye bags. So on the side here of the eye, we're just going to curve down underneath the eye. We'll do the same thing on the right side. From here we're going to draw in the mouth. So I'm going to come down in the middle to right about here. I'm going to draw a curve going up from left to right, to the top of the mouth. Now we're going to curve down the side of the mouth. So do a nice smooth curve coming down on either side. Let's go ahead and draw in the bottom of the mouth. So we're going to tuck this in underneath the side here. So we're going to step up just a little bit so there's a little bit of an overhang on either side. We're going to draw in some teeth. He's got some really jaggedy teeth. So we're just going to draw a series of three-sided squares. So up here, we're just going to go across like that. And they don't have to be the same size. It's actually better if they're misshaped, leaving a gap in between each tooth, all the way to the right side. We're going to color the bottom inside area of the mouth black. Let's go ahead below the mouth and just draw the bottom lip. So we're just going to draw a little curve in the center underneath the mouth. Let's go back up and draw in the nose. So we're going to draw a big sort of U shape just close to the top of the mouth. Starting from the left side, curve down, and then back up on the right. We're going to curve in the side of the nostrils. So curving in and up on both sides. Now we're just going to draw just a little bit of the bridge of the nose by drawing a little curve that overlaps the side of the nostril on both sides. Let's give the little smile line. So on the side of this nostril, we're just going to curve around the mouth on both sides like that. Let's go ahead and draw in the side of the face. So on the side of the eyebrows or the brow line, on the left side, we're going to curve down towards the chin and then back up on the right side. Starting on the left, we're just going to draw like a half circle, curving all the way down to the chin. We curve back up towards the right, making sure the space and the gap is the same on the left and right. So curving up, all the way up to there. Now from this point I want to draw in the ears. So we're going to fold in the ears in behind the head. So from this point I'm going to curve out and then just sort of pull it back in to the side of the head. We'll draw the inner ear. Up here we're just going to draw a curve tucked in behind the head. Let's do the same thing on the right side but we're going to draw a little notch in the ear. It almost like there's a bite taken out. Curve out and as we come down to right about here and stop and just draw an upside down V and then pull that back in. We'll draw that inner ear detail there. From this point I want to draw in the brim of the hat. So the hat's going to be coming down over the forehead. So from the left we're going to curve down above the eyes over towards the right. So right here we're going to curve down and then back up on the right side. From here I'm going to curve the ends and tuck this in behind the ears. So we're going to round up the end and then just pull that in behind the ear. On the right we'll do the same thing. So round it out, pull it behind the ear. Now we can take the side of the head and just tuck it in underneath the brim. So just continuing that curve all the way up. Let's go ahead and draw on the sides of the hat. So from here, from the top, on both sides we're going to curve up and towards the center. So from here on the left we'll just do a nice little curve that goes up. On the right side we'll do the same thing. From here we're going to draw a curve that goes across from left to right for the edge of the hat. Curve down in the middle, 
back up on the right side. Let's go ahead and draw the top side of the hat. So we're gonna draw the head to right about here. So from this point here, I'm gonna curve in and go up. So it's starting to point inwards. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. So curving in and up. Make sure they're roughly the same height. We're gonna take these two points and curve down to the center point. So I'm just gonna draw a little point in the middle. On the right, I'm just gonna curve across. And on the left, I'll curve down and in towards the middle. Let's draw a few holes in the hat. Starting on the left side, I'm just gonna draw just a few different various shaped ovals, just across like that. I'm gonna draw a little wrinkle in here. So right across in the middle, I'm just gonna draw a little swooping curve like that. From here, we wanna draw some scars in the face. So I'm gonna start on the left side underneath this eye. Right here, I'm just gonna draw a curve coming down the side of the face. I'm gonna go over just a little bit and just draw another curve coming down. So it's tapering to a point. Let's draw another one coming up from the chin. Draw a curve going up. And then from that point, I'm gonna taper out and just pull that into the side of the chin. We'll do the same thing here. Draw another curve coming down, moving over. Draw a little scar like that. We'll draw one more going up. And then taper that back down. I'm gonna draw a few on the top of the forehead. So up here, I'm gonna curve down just above the left brow and then pull that back up. We're gonna draw one more over here. Curving across. Maybe we'll draw one across the top of the eye here. So I'm just gonna draw a curve like this. We we'll take those two points and connect it with a curve that goes up in the middle and then down. We'll draw maybe one little one coming down here and back up. We'll draw one more on the side of the head, going up and then curving back down to the side of the head there. Okay, so we got the face, let's get into the body. So with all my chibis, I draw the head and the body at the same height. So using my opposite hand, I measure up the top and the bottom of the head, come down, so this is where the bottom of the feet will be. From the bottom of the feet to the chin, about halfway is where the waist will be. So I'm gonna draw the sides of the body coming down towards the waistline. So on the left side, I'm gonna leave a little gap, curving down towards the waist, on the right, we'll do the same thing. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a curve, but along the way, I just wanna draw some rips in the shirt. So I'm just gonna curve across, draw upside down V, go across, draw a smaller one, continue on, we'll draw one big one here, and then complete it at the end there. we we'll draw the collar of a sweater. So from left to right, underneath the chin, I'm just gonna draw a little curve like that. Inside this collar, I just wanna draw some vertical lines just to show the fabric going across like that. From here, let's go into the arms. So this arm I'm gonna have just in a claw like this. Over here, we're gonna draw in his glove. So let's start with this side first. So from the shoulder, right up here, I'm gonna curve down towards the wrist. Let's go ahead and draw in the thumb. From this point, I'm gonna curve up and then just pull and curl it around. So this is this part of the thumb here. From this point, I want to curve the meat of the hand. We're going to go back to the bottom of the hand now and draw the fingers and layer them in behind each other. So right here, we're going to draw the arm coming in. So we've got to make sure that the wrist is thick enough. So coming in like that. Now we're going to wrap the first finger, the pinky, curving around and then pulling that back in. We're going to move over to the side of the finger here, curving out. We'll do the same thing. So we're going to pull that back in. Do one more. So on the side of the finger here, we're going to curve out and pull that back in. Now from the side of this finger, we're gonna curve in towards that thumb. So it kind of looks like he's got a claw hand like that. From this point of the wrist to this side, we're gonna draw a curve, but I'm also gonna draw a little notch in it, like a little tear. Let's go to this side. So now we're gonna draw in the claw, the metal glove. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in the hand first and then draw in the arm tucked in behind it after. So the shoulder coming down to the elbow and across to the glove. So here we're gonna start with the curve. This is the part of the glove across the knuckles. Now because the arm is angled this way, we're going to draw two lines coming across like that. We're going to connect those two points with another curve. In here, let's draw in some rivets. Draw a circle on the two corners at the top, and then one just down in the middle there. From here, let's tuck in the thumb behind. So the thumb's going to be tucked in like that. So right up here, I'm just going to draw a curve. On this side, you want to see the palm of the hand. So right from this point to that point, we'll draw a curve like that. Let's go ahead and draw on some fingers. So first, the index finger. From this point, this corner of the glove, we'll draw a curve going out, 
and then pulling back in and then just curving around. So it kind of looks like a little sausage shape. We draw one more right beside it and pull that back down. And we'll draw one more here, curving across and pulling that back down. We're going to draw some separations in the fingers. So in the middle of this finger, draw a curve, draw a curve in this finger, and one more here. Let's draw the little blades that stick out. So from the end of this finger here, I'm just going to curve up and I'm pull it straight back in towards the tip of the finger. Let's draw one more here, curving and then pulling that back. We'll draw one more here, curving up and then pull that back. Let's draw the bottom of the arm. So from the edge of the glove here, we're going to step in and curve in towards the body. We're going to draw the top of the arm. So right here beside the palm of the hand, we're going to curve in, leaving enough space here for the upper arm. From here, we're just going to curve and tuck that in underneath the chin. Let's go ahead and add some stripes in the shirt. We're going to start with the top in the body area. So right here, draw a curve across. We're going to draw that same curve just below it. So this stripe in here is going to be one solid color. So I want to leave another gap and draw one more below it. So I'm going to curve across and then one more down here. We'll curve across like this. This is going to get tucked in behind that little cut that I have in the shirt at the bottom there. Let's draw some stripes on this side. Starting underneath the armpit, curve across, leave a gap, curve across again. So that's one stripe, leave a space, and draw one more stripe like that. Do the same thing on this side. We're going to start with the elbow. I'm just going to split the arm by curving in like that. We're going to curve one stripe, leave a little gap, curve in towards the body, and again, one more stripe, curve at the top there. Let's get into the legs. So again, the bottom of the feet are going to come down to here. So right below the bottom of the shirt, we're going to draw a little curve for the lower torso. On the left side, we're going to step in, curve down towards the heel. On the right, we'll step in, and curve down towards the heel. We're going to draw the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, draw one curve. On the right, we'll do the same thing, making sure they're roughly the same length. We'll draw the top of the boot coming down towards the ankle. So from here, we're going to curve the top, aiming towards that heel, but we're not going to close it off. We're going to go up and just pull it down across like that. We'll do the same on the right side. So leaving a gap, going up to the top of the shoe, and then down. From the hip, we're going to curve down to the top of the boot. So stepping in just a little bit, curving down. So it kind of looks like the shirt's overlapping on top of the pant. On this corner, we're going to step in and curve to the top of the shoe. Let's go ahead and draw the bottom of the pant. So from here, from this curve, we're going to curve in the opposite direction to the back of the leg. On the right, we'll do the same thing. We're going to give them a little sole. So we're going to take this curve and just step up and just draw the same curve just above it. Do the same thing on the right side there. Just to add a little bit more detail, I want to add a scar just down the center of the nose here. So up here, I'm going to draw a curve coming down, and then one curve coming in the opposite direction on the other side. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Please make sure you check out our Chibi playlist. We have a ton of characters in there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.